Now to the Northeast earthquake, and there have been 32 confirmed aftershocks, all of them centered in New Jersey. The strongest, a magnitude 3.8 that was felt across our area. And tonight, safety inspections continue on bridges and at a school where we have just learned a gym has been deemed unsafe. CBS 2's Alicia Reed has the latest tonight from Newark. Families of these homes on 7th Avenue in Newark are sleeping in their own beds Saturday night now that their buildings have been deemed safe and power restored. Yeah, yeah, we have everything here. There were concerns Friday's 4.8 magnitude earthquake shifted the foundations of the homes. After the initial quake hit at 10.23 a.m., USGS confirms another 32 aftershocks hit New Jersey and the surrounding areas. Feel that? the strongest, a 3.8 magnitude Friday evening. And late Saturday, we learned a Brooklyn Middle School's gym was deemed unsafe after a DOB inspection found cracks inside. The rest of the school at 370 Fountain Avenue is okay. Animals and families were on edge, but according to authorities, there were no injuries and no major damage to bridges, tunnels, or buildings. Many were confused, wondering if they had just experienced an earthquake, and now there are questions over New York City's response time. A phone emergency alert was sent about 25 minutes after the quake. The OEM commissioner stood behind their response. 20 minutes is very, very fast for a uh, public notification. But in California, we're quakes are common. Alerts can happen 10 seconds before an earthquake. Of course, there were some people who didn't feel any of Friday's tremors, and then there were businesses capitalizing off it with t-shirts stating, I survived the New York City earthquake. In Newark, Alicia Reed, CBS 2 News.